covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Researchers have shown that a vulnerability in a decades-old Microsoft Windows component that controls printing could be abused by malicious actors to gain elevated privileges on the targeted system. The flaw, which they dubbed Print Demon, resides in the print spooler, and get this, it affects all Windows versions since NT 4.0. The component has remained largely unchanged since, even though another vulnerability affecting it was abused by the infamous Stuxnet a decade ago. Microsoft said of the fix, an elevation of privilege vulnerability exists when the Windows Print Spooler service improperly allows arbitrary writing to the file system. An attacker who successfully exploited this vulnerability could run arbitrary code with elevated system privileges. An attacker could then install programs, view, change, or delete data, or create new accounts with full user rights. Microsoft played down the likelihood of exploitation, saying that an attacker would need to log on to an affected system and use a specially written script or application. But as we know, RDP exploits are occurring in the wild with malware such as Sarwent opening a remote access to Windows systems. So in today's connected world, saying a hacker needs to have access to a system in order to exploit it is an irresponsible point to make, which could mislead inexperienced IT departments into complacency. The vulnerability can be abused to elevate privileges, bypass endpoint detection and response rules, and gain persistence. As part of this month's Patch Tuesday, which plugged a total of 111 security holes, Microsoft changed how the Windows Print Spooler component writes data to the file system, and it advised to download and apply the update. This exploit goes to show why running a version of, when, of Windows that is past end of life is unwise. The fix for this exploit will not be released to EOL operating systems such as Windows XP or even Windows 7, which will remain vulnerable to this critical flaw. Perhaps this is also another example of why it's high time to consider switching to Linux.